Oh, gosh, this is so fun. One of my favorite chefs in the Twin Cities is here. I'm so excited. He's opened nine restaurants. He's been at the helm of several more throughout his 30-year wow. career, but he doesn't look a day over 22. No, He's been featured on the Bravo show Top Chef. And uh, every so often, I say, hey, J.D., you want to come over? You want to cook in my kitchen on Minnesota Look Live? At that. He always shows up. Boy, that was a good recipe. That was a chicken with a wild rice stuffing. Ridiculous. Oh, well, we're going to get in a little bit of that wild rice today. So J.D. Fratsky is the corporate chef at Daily and Daroma in Plymouth. He's cooking up something good for a Monday night meal, and it does have wild rice in it. Good to see you. Hi, buddy. Does, indeed, indeed. You know, Ben, I really appreciate the uh, simpatico we got going on here today. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we've got good vibes going I, on. I think so. This you is know. nice. Yeah, we really coordinated nicely. This is the beginning of indeed. a beautiful friendship. Totally. I kind of feel like a before and after picture. And then, and then we, need to, we need to talk after this, because I got a great head shaver the other day right. for my birthday, and I was really skeptical, and I used it over the weekend, and I'm like, it's kind of a game changer. Oh. Right. Bring it, man. Bring yeah. it. Yeah, I've been using the, uh, the the Gillette in the shower for you know. No, decades no, this is now, this, so this this is like an electric shaver. I was not I was not sold until I tried it. I'm like, it works. Awesome, it man. Really works. Pro awesome. tips for your next bald man convention. <laughs> yes, um, exactly. Let's for dinner, shall we? Absolutely. Well, you know, being uh, as you mentioned, a man of a certain age, uh, I've been paying a lot more attention to what I eat lately. I know that in the past, in different restaurants that I've worked at, um, it's been about indulgence. You you know, the night out on the town was like the, the cheeseburger with the bacon and the foie gras and the fried egg on it. That's great. And now that I have to pay a little bit more attention to uh, what actually uh, goes through my arteries, um, I have uh, vegetated literally <laughs> toward uh, a little bit more of a vegetable-based diet. And uh, one of the things that I really like to cook is broccolini because it's crunchy, it's hearty, it's got a ton of nutrients in it. And then, of course, because I am a fifth-generation Minnesotan, um, I love to eat where I live. So wild rice is also a big part of uh, our diet as well. Oh, so, so good. I just bought five pounds at the farmer's market a yeah, couple weeks ago. So and way to do it. That's what's great. And get the real deal, the hand-harvested stuff. It is Amen. a yeah, national you're talking, treasure. The, again, you're talking the wild rice, not the broccoli. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. The broccolini. Well, is, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, that can be hand harvested as well. Ooh, I suppose. look so, at this. Right. All right, what do we got going on? So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by uh, sauteing some aromatics. Uh, we've got some shallots and some garlic. Okay. So we're going to do that in a little bit of avocado oil. Got a hot avocado pan. Avocado oh. oil has a high smoke point. Yep. And then we're going to add also some bell peppers. Ooh. And this will just kind of get stirred around a little bit. You want to saute this until. Where'd the, that come uh, from? <laughs> Exactly. Well, what great. else you got back there? You got a little tool belt? What's going oh, on over craft, there? These craft made aprons, they got a space for everything. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, but you're gonna you're gonna saute these aromatics to get a nice base layer on the flavor. And once you start to see the garlic brown a little bit, you start to see the shallots become translucent. Oh, it smells good. That Doesn't smells it? Great. Yeah. Um, that's when you're gonna add the broccolini. This is so easy. And so this is just simply well, rinse. Careful, careful, you're gonna burn your fingers. Oh, he has no feeling in his fingers yeah, anymore. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, 30 years of kitchens, like I'm I hope that I get to keep my eyesight because I can never read Braille. <laughs> um, but uh, you're gonna just start this off. You're gonna add a little bit of sea salt on top of that. Yum. Um, some fresh cracked black pepper. And then uh, while this is all going on, you're kind of letting this stuff brown. You're gonna get an egg going if you choose to put an egg on top of this dish. But one of the things that's really great about this too is this is a great side dish for a holiday gathering. If you're doing the turkey or the goose or the whole ham, uh, it's great for seafood, mm -hmm. um, vegetarian dishes like tofu or seitan, and uh, or you can also just have something for breakfast. I like the idea too of even like of I've been into those individually packaged pieces of salmon. And just doing that, like, and you know, not everything has to be like this massive thing. Not everybody's cooking for six people and their family. You Precisely. Know? Like you're, you're cooking for you, you and your wife are empty nesters. Exactly. Yeah. For another two days oh. before she comes back Yay. Christmas break. Oh yeah, so we'll celebrate the next two that. days. Exactly. Yes. University of Iowa, baby. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so. So what's the trick with your egg? What, uh, what sort of oil did you use in there, if any oil? I use more of the, uh, the avocado oil. Okay. And you're gonna wait until the egg gets nice and uh, white, like an even surface across the bottom, and then. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of salt on top so it'll be absorbed. And then I like to keep my eggs really wet. Oh so, my gosh, oh, what, what a, a nice, flip. What nice a little flip like that, and then we're going, yeah. Um, white wine. Wow, fun. And one of the things I'm gonna mention as far as the pro tip is make sure you're lifting that off the burner at home when you do it, um, when you add the white wine to it. A lot of times if the alcohol comes in contact with the flame, yeah. you're, you're gonna do what up. I did in your kitchen the first time. <laughs> Um, so I thought that was exciting. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Now, my favorite thing about this dish is, again, uh, I'm going to use some of Ben's language and I'm going to call an audible. I'm adding some dandelion greens to Ooh. this. Oh, yeah. Look at oh. you. I like them because they are uh, 
Uh, they're a blood purifier. They're really good for your digestive system. Uh, if you work out a lot, they're great as part of your recovery meal. So um, dandelion greens are super healthy. They're available in almost all of your local co-ops. And what do they what do they kind of taste like? What, uh, they've got a, just... they've got a, they kind of taste like uh, like spinach and clover, but they've got a bitterness to them that I really like mm. too. It makes the make the dish really savory. Oh my gosh! Okay, you got to finish this. We're gonna try this while yeah, you finish get this, in there. okay? Because we want to see the le next steps. But we got to make sure that we can get a little bite. Because this looks. You gonna go so for the egg? I guess good. we will. Yeah, we gotta go for. it. Don't you think? Yeah, like, don't you want try. that egg yolk? I yep. do. Yeah. I just didn't know if you want me to like tear it open. <laughs> no, you gotta tear it open. You gotta go for it. Cause you've got. All That's right. right. And what else is... is in here? The wild rice, some almonds. Wild rice, toasted almonds, I need bell a good peppers, bite. and then uh, I just throw a little bit of parsley on top of that at the end. Oh so. man, guys, oh, what's that's happening? Oh, so yummy. Uh huh. Mmm. The toasted oh, yeah, almonds are such a great touch, too. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit of extra texture. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. Oh, that rice is phenomenal. It's so simple, but it's like this giant plate of delicious food. I just, I think broccolini should be in everybody's I could not agree fridge. more. And there is a, there's also a, a, an Italian version of broccolini um, called rapini that's leafier. It yeah. has the same buds on it that broccolini does, uh, but it's got a long stalk and it's really leafy, and so that's one of the reasons that I also like to add that dandelion green. So Wait, good. What, a what a balanced meal. I mean, the, you've got something that's satiating with the broccolini, yeah. got the protein in there. This is all great stuff. I love yeah. an egg for dinner, appreciate. too. Thanks, J.D. Oh, thank Anytime. you. Very good. Anytime. Okay, we posted the recipe for J.D.'s pan-roasted broccolini and wild rice on TwinCitiesLive.com. And a big thank you to the Nordic Ware Factory Store for presenting our Monday night meal. They're in-stock cookware Make great gifts for the cooks in your life, like the ceramic coated styles. And breakfast pans are really great for gifting or for that holiday brunch that you're planning. Mention Twin Cities Live when you visit the factory store. We love it there. Receive an extra 5% off your purchase. And we've got more Twin Cities Live next.